smelled it. I was like, dang, I should have bought this and versus saving all my money for this. <laughs> but I YouTube and welcome to my channel. This is your first time here. Hi, my name is Kiera and this is my channel, Hey Key. Um, so if you are a current subscriber, hey you guys, welcome back for another video. So as you can see in the title of this video, I am finally reviewing some Zara perfumes. Honestly, I've been wanting to do this video for a very, very long time, but it's like a lot of the scents that I like, or at least thought I liked online, they were sold out. So I had to keep like checking and getting my name like on the wait list and blah, blah, blah. And eventually I was like, you know what, forget it. Let me just buy what's in stock and we'll just go from there. All right, so I have five fragrances that are actually dupes for designer perfumes. I don't know if they truly are. I know I have a few that might be a dupe, I don't know. But yeah, so if you wanna know more about these perfumes and you're interested in buying from Zara in the future, please keep watching this video. Maybe I'll start with like the little sizes first. So I would like to start with Red Vanilla actually. And this is, it was $9.90 and it is one ounce. So this is like a one ounce fragrance. And again, it is the Red Vanilla. So it has like notes of black currant, iris, and vanilla. Um, it's like, like a, it's like a like a fruity vanilla scent and i really don't like sweet like sugary like vanilla scents per se but this one is so enticing it was like really different it was really unique and i'm like ooh, i like that so it like right off the bat it smells like expensive like it'll put you in the mind of like like a chanel or it just smells really expensive and high end. And I, oh, I taste it. Oh God, no. So I actually did like some notes right here so I can like um, try to figure out like what they were saying online, like what these perfumes were actually dupes for. Um, but this one right off the back, it smells like very expensive. It reminds me of just shopping on the Magnificent Mile. Like I'm from Chicago, so Magne the Magnificent Miles, like on Michigan Avenue, it's like where all like the luxury shops are. You have your Gucci, your Chanel, your Louis Vuitton, you have Cartier, uh, you have uh, Tiffany, like all of the high-end luxury brands are on the Magnificent Mile. So this makes me think of a high brand um, designer perfume. Um, so this was actually online. They said it's like the dupe for the La Vie Est Belle uh, Lancome perfume. I've never smelled it. I don't know, but I'm gonna put the picture right there. So again, it's the La Vie Est Belle Lancome perfume. And it's just, it's very daring. It's like, this would be perfect for like a date night. Like it just smells like really expensive. It doesn't sound, it doesn't smell cheap or overly fruity or like childish, nothing like that. It smells like grown, like I'm on a date. The only thing about this, um, it does not last long. Like honestly, I feel like none of these really lasted long. Um, you have to like keep applying it. Like I know some people, they don't like that. Like they like their fragrance to be like long lasting. I truly get it. I'm like one of those people too, but I always keep fragrance on me just to touch up. So by this being like in a small little bottle, I can definitely keep this in like my Telfar bag or whatever and I can just touch myself up like as the day goes on. So that's the only thing about it. It does not last long at all, but honestly, none of the perfumes do. I don't know if that's a Zara thing or is it just like the perfumes that I have for this video? But yeah, this, it did not last that long. Maybe an hour or two, I don't really remember, but it didn't last long y'all. Now, the next one we are actually going to review is Wonder Rose. Wonder Rose is, com is the complete opposite of Red Vanilla. Wonder Rose is like this soft, young, like fruity scent. And it's not like, like a childish like Bath and Body Works. Well, not to call Bath and Body Works childish. But you know, like everybody wears Bath and Body Works like in high school and stuff like that. Maybe college too. But this is like the grown up version. It smells so good like when i was doing my research they said like this was the dupe for 
um, Miss Dior, and I believe it's the Miss Dior with the gold fragrance because I have the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, uh, bouquet and it's like the pink fragrance, so it's not the dupe for this because I thought it was the dupe for this, that's why I got it. No, it's supposed to be the dupe for the original Miss Dior that came out in 2012, and it's like that gold amber color, not the bouquet, not the pink colors. This is floral. Um, so this one is more like a fruity type floral and it smells like so good like this is perfect for like like a fun date like going to like going to like bowling going you know just real active it's like oh she smells really good like it's just like a real fun carefree like type scent so some of the notes for this one is notes of pear uh red berries and it also has a vanilla in here as well um, so this is from the All Day Collection, and this is one ounce as well, and it retails for $9.90. I like this a lot. Like, I wear this a lot. Like, this is always in my tote bar bag. Like, for real, for real. Now, the next one I got is, like, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It's like, when I first smell it, I'm like, okay, this smells like something I probably smelled before. I can see how this is a dupe. But then in the other instance, I'm like, I don't think I like this. It's like I have like a love-hate relationship with this one. So this is the Zara Bright Rose. So if you don't know anything about me, I love like the rose scent, but I don't like like an old lady type rose, like floral scent. I don't like that. Like I like a rose clean, soft scent. And this like makes me feel like it's like old lady at times. Like I don't know how I feel about this. I, I need to wear this somewhere. I'm not sure how I feel about this. So this is the 3.4 ounce and this retails for $17.90 and it has hints of rose, musk, and patchouli. And I like all of those. So maybe it's just this, I don't know. And this is from the All Day Collection as well. I'm gonna smell it again just to double check, but I just don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, it just reminds me of like old lady. And then when I spray it, I'm like, okay, it smells fine. I don't know, maybe, but you know whenever you spray a fragrance, it smells different on your on your skin type because you like your hormones and stuff. Like a perfume will always smell different on a different person. Well, I'm talking too much. Her fragrances will always smell differently on um, each individual just based on like their body type and their hormones and stuff like that. So like when I spray it on me, it smells fine, but just like that initial scent, I just don't like it. Okay, let's try it again, let's try it again. And this is allegedly the dupe for um, Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. I've never smelled that, never heard of it. I just found it online. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That's what this is the dupe for because I don't know. It's like, it's like it reminds me of like those small little samples you get from like when you buy a perfume and they give you like those small little samples. It's like little gifts or something. It's like, mm, no, and you toss it. That's what this reminds me of. Like, I don't know about this one. It, like, it, like, the reason why I think I would kind of like it because it kind of smells like a fresh scent and it kind of almost puts me in the replica mindset. It's like the replica bubble bath. It kind of reminds me of this, but repli replica smells way, way better than this. So it's like the, the knockoff generic brand of this. Like if you're trying to get this, but you miss a couple steps, so you got this. That's like the best way, like, that's like the best way I can describe it because it's like, it's like, old ladyish but then it has like a little clean like soap smell to it but i just i just i don't know yeah this is like the child version of this like a water 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 down version of this that's I'm not a fan of it no ma'am no zara discontinue this bright pink bright rose bright no no ma'am okay so now we are down to the final two and these are actually some of my favorites so i'm gonna save this one for last and let's go for this cute little pink bottle so this is tuber rose and it is like in this soft like baby pink um bottle let me see if it'll focus will it focus 
go. So if I move it further away, you can see like it's this cute like baby pink um, bottle and it says just tuberose right here. This smells amazing. And this was supposed to be the dupe for, hold on, let me double check my nose. Six and eight. This is supposed to be the dupe for Dior Jador. I smelled it that years ago. I really don't remember what it smells like, but online they're saying that this is the dupe for Adore G Dior. Adore Jador. Dior Jador. Here we go. So that's what this is the dupe for. And this is from the Weekend Collection, and this is 3.4 ounces, and this retails for $17.90 as well. And it says um, it has like some black currant, uh, tuberose, and vanilla. This smells really, really good. Like I would actually put this in like my one of like my big bags that I'm carrying. Um, not like the small little, uh, like the small Telfar bag, like a big little bag just to keep this on the go. Like I previously mentioned, like none of these scents like last long. And that really doesn't bother me too much because I, I always like to freshen up like throughout the day anyway. So um, it is a little bit annoying, but you just have to keep it on deck. If that's a, a, a huge no for you, then I would not recommend these fragrances um, at all because they don't last long. So you do have to touch up. You have to like keep applying it. Like not keep applying it, but you do have to apply it a few times throughout the day. It's the vanilla. It's like vanilla, fruity. I really don't get the rose in here. It's really just vanilla and fruit so it's sweet but it's subtle it's like dreamy that's what it is mm. yeah it's it's like like berries and vanilla like oh this smells so good. Like Zara knew what they was doing with this. Actually, I might get this like in a travel size. I can always spray this, but this is like very dreamy. It's very flirty. It's like you just out with your girls, just having a good time. You just like chilling, maybe just getting like some drinks or something like that. And yeah, it's just like real chill, real flirty, real feminine, and I like that. And it's like the perfect little bottle to go with the scent. Like this is the perfect shade of pink. So and the last fragrance that I have for this video, I don't even need my notes because when I smelled this, I was like, this is definitely a dupe for the Zara apple juice. Zara apple juice. And if you've been living under a rock, this is supposed to be the dupe for Chanel Chance. And the Chanel Chance, I believe it retails for like $125. I don't really remember, but it's like over $100. I don't know. So this was like highly acclaimed all over like social media. Like this was the dupe for Chanel Chance. And I actually have Chanel Chance like right in front of me. Like I wanted this perfume for years, 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 and years. Like I would always get samples of it and I would be like, I'm gonna buy this one day, I'm gonna buy it one day. And I finally got it and then I hear about this. And I was like, are you kidding me? But it's okay, I like them both. It's totally fine, it's fine, it's fine. Apple juice, this is from the All Day Collection and it has notes of apple, peony, 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 some people say pe peony, some people say peony, peony. I say peony, I don't like peony, that sounds stupid. So peony, apple, and violet, and this retails for $19.90, and this is 6.8 ounces, so this is huge. This is the biggest size out of all the perfumes that I have, like this is huge. So, apple juice is the alleged dupe for Chanel Chance. It is. 
It is. It's like Chanel Chance and it has like a little soapy finish at the end. It's like a clean finish at the end. So it's not quite Chanel Chance, but it's there. Like if you've never smelled Chanel Chance and you don't know, you'd be like, oh, that smells so good. Oh, that Chanel, oh. But if you have the Chanel Chance, you can notice like the slight distinction. But other than that, you can definitely get away with it. Like I would just totally con consider this a dupe for this. Like for sure, hands down. Like I would definitely consider this a dupe. It smells really, really good. Um, like I can probably just wear this and then maybe just touch up my fragrance. Well, actually Chanel lasts all day. So you really don't have to touch up Chanel, but just to be extra, I could just like miss this like throughout the day. But this smells, they got it. Like Zara got this on the ball. Like. They, they really, this is definitely a dupe, for sure. If you don't have like a hundred and something dollars to spend on this bottle, I definitely recommend this for $20, for sure. And this is 3.4 ounces. They're both, wait, this is 3.4 ounces. This is 6.8 ounces. This is like over a hundred dollars. I wanna say 125, this was $20. So do what's best for you and your budget, honestly and truly, but this this one this is a no-brainer all right guys so that is the end of this video so those are all of the fragrances that i have to review for today's video if you've enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up if you have not subscribed already then please subscribe to my channel um but thank you guys for watching um do you if you have any of these scents please let me know about it in the comment section below but yes thank you guys for watching this video and i will catch you guys on the next one bye guys